Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We have today cross stitch to review. I try my best to mix now video with diamond painting and cross stitching and if you already know this there are lots of videos that we have two videos per day. Yes, I try to spoil you as much as possible. Now not long ago, very like not long ago, last week I think, we did with you unboxing and review uh, cross stitch canvas. I will remind you now which one I have here with me. This one. Remember the family of tigers? And I told you there is a similarity. Uh, another uh, image of tigers that I really really love and this one is 134 by 56 centimeters and I told you there is another canvas that's even bigger and not very often you can find the same size for that price so yes I found one look at this and look at the amount like the this is so heavy this is so heavy and i'm just so happy about this it's called tiger uh, i would call tigers it's two of them in here but look at the like um it's like a story in here we have winter time uh two tigers maybe like a romantic love story in here in here it looks like a spring or summer it's already with the four baby cups in here so it's kind of there is a similarity in this two cross stitch canvases and this kit are huge it's 163 by 89 it is huge it will be such an amazing piece of art when you finish doesn't have to be even frame you can put as a um, like on a wall uh, people do without framing it's almost almost going to be like a carpet thing tapestry or how you call it so anyway this is so gorgeous and it's by joy sunday company was created this one um yeah Every day e crafts. I cannot thank you enough for having this canvas in your store. So let's see what included in here. It's a lots and lots of product in here. We have like okay, let me show you. Um I did put my camera a little bit much further from me because the canvas are so big I need kind of more room and I think it's still not going to be enough. I will have to figure out how to show you all canvas at once but look at the beauty and why i was so attractive to this particular image because i was watching lady stitching this she did stitching um wasn't finished yet what she did uh, she did stitch this tiger all the snow i think she was only left to stitch uh, this tiger and kind of top in here the rest of already was done and it it is absolutely gorgeous so it's just like you can take your eyes off gorgeous gorgeous yes lots of boring colors in here to stitch if you don't like neutral colors and you like only like a bright one but i mean it's so worth it and i have a few different cross stitch canvases smaller sizes of family of tigers and different kind of different kind of cats so this is just impressive to me and the book oh look how many pages we have in here tons of pages so i want to try look at that look at that we have in here of course the instruction what to do now let me see because i did not open i want to see how many colors we have in here let me just find it because usually it's like on the end and here somewhere in the middle somewhere in the middle the tiger's face okay right in here so we have 
oh that's what it is this page is supposed to be like on the top in here 40 pages of book if you want to follow the booklet uh, pattern but of course it's going to be a nightmare if you follow on this because the all these pages look at they have shiny will be ridiculously difficult to stitch uh, at night for example because as soon as you turn light on all this thing will be reflecting and then you need to have a special pen to mark it down because regular marker will be smudged on uh, shiny papers so let's see how many colors how many colors we have in here and I saw this before this particular canvas in 11 count Ada but can you imagine 11 count Ada this one is 14 count it's already how big 11 count with like over 2 meters so full stitches 43 colors and then one two three four five six seven colors in back stitch that's it that's it that is a gorgeous 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 oh, i just i can't i can't wait to hold the threads in my hands you know how exciting that is for me to see the threads okay are you ready are you ready whoa oh my god i got shivers on my skin look at that look at that wow <laughs> whoa we have one two three four five palettes and this one probably all extras so is this one so if we're looking in here 31 and finish 43 we have in here two needles hopefully they will survive till you stitch this kind of big canvas i'm sure you will have them um, need more than two and here is from one and i think this is all this palettes in here four of them that is a all extras yes so this is the only color in here that i can show you right now uh what we have what kind of colors as a main how are we gonna see i hope that maybe maybe um, it's a white paper i have in here and this one okay like that so we can separate kind of colors to see them just a minute, just a minute. Okay, so this is the first set of colors in here. Okay. Oh my god, this is treasure. This is hidden treasures. And then we have in here another set of colors sorry for the noises outside there's a electricity construction city workers doing electricity poles renewing on a new one so they built them before and now just putting electrical stuff oh i should stop maybe can you hear it too loud i don't know if i should stop video right now um, okay, and then on this the other side, let me get them, or I should just unstaple them, and then from the other side, this is the the rest of the color. So yeah, lots of gray colors, of course, just like that. Maybe I can show you. That's the all main colors that we will be using. For years probably and then all this look at this full palette of white oh my goodness so this is not partial I have to stitch all the white oh you know what some threads or I don't know if that was a threads or not 
uh, look at here on a white threads there's the ink ink came out from something you see how those black dirty marks on it right on the top all, all over so I don't know from touching it um, it wouldn't be here because here is gray but it's all same maybe they were laying somewhere else before because if it's dark leaking that would be just this side but not like all the way around so it could be this palette was laying somewhere else and got edge dirty I don't know at this point but here there's more of the white and all this extras all this is the extras threads just absolutely gorgeous look at another That's a beautiful blue color up there. Mm. But the rest of the uh, threads, okay, because they are colorful, right? And here's for the tigers, all this beautiful gold color, brown. But I'm concerned in why the white one. I hope it's washable. I hope it's washable. So yeah, that is interesting because I thought first, um, I know that lady was cross stitch and she was cross stitch in a white color and she was like, oh, it's so difficult to stitch white on white when you have a, such a big canvas. Uh, but usually we've received kind of like a replica from the original, uh, but I think she was stitching from Joy Sunday as well. So yeah, this is going to be white, everything stitched. So let me find, see like in here, that would be definitely like a snow white. So we do have a symbol in here. Yes, we have to stitch absolutely everything. It's not partial at all. Okay, that's even more exciting. Okay, so before I use, I will try maybe to wash that color and see if it's coming out or not because on the mix uh, on the end we will not going to see it anyway because in so many colors in here in the mix gray and kind of those kind of close shades so little tiny drop here and there when it's get to your canvas is not going to be even visible but also I think when we wash canvas on the end um, it should be washed out um, I, I tested out before my um, threads from Joy Sunday, I did um, test them by making a wet and see if they're gonna lose color or not, so everything was fine, but you know, time changing, you can test it out, I did uh, test tutorial how I did with my huge canvas of the running horses, if you wanna look that, you can check it out, and you can test like this every kit you receive, and just to make sure you're not gonna get later a splash, a splash of color and it's not washable when your thread gonna start leaking especially if it's, if it's a partial stitching right oh I'm out of breath to even talk because I'm just so overwhelmed of of this treasure this is treasure to me seriously so many threads and you were thinking oh my god I have to put this all on a canvas stitch by stitch little tiny stitch so let's open the canvas itself let me put this further away wow 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 so this is how canvas will be oh you can even see already in the screen so this is the link that will be your how tall this picture will be okay and now how wide this will be let's unroll it because I think that's how it's going to be now my height is meter 64 is it yeah and this one is <laughs> meter 34 so it's only 10 centimeters less than my height oh my god 
but this is definitely will be with the borders oh wow okay i have to get off my chair because it's not going to work for me to open even whoa 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 let's see let's see let's see let's see wow so all this you have to stitch in white color all this now for this kind of big canvas it will be just ridiculously long to stitch in full stitch if i will work on it i think what i will do because this is 14 count ada you have to stitch two threads to create your full stitch i might will do a half stitch by using a, or three or four threads at once and that will give me a good fullness of the stitch cover good but at the same time it will give it also different texture of the snow and faster stitching because this is so big so big i have to put this canvas like on the floor or something to show you whoa um wow yeah this is definitely a challenge to show you the canvas i have to figure out where now i want to show you in here this piece let me just fight this it's like a blanket yeah if i can show you this way look at this here is our tree and this tree that's the old that um you have to stitch back stitch all those branches it's a back stitch there's some trees in here also you can see the back stitch and go wow this is impressive uh, now okay so this is why sky do we stitch sky maybe all we have to do stitch 43 uh, 34 no that's not gonna be 34 let me check book again let me check book i will find the um top this is probably bottom of the page so this says the tree that's our branch tree no that's not the one tree oh no this is the white so maybe this partial sky doesn't yeah you see in here in the book just a blank squares so i guess the snow on the bottom we stitch but the sky part we don't stitch how about how about our do we have a, like a blank square in here mm, no we don't just a plus symbol so it is partial for the sky okay you don't have to stitch sky if you don't have to uh, unless you want to then you can pick up some like a grayish bluish colors to create your um, uh, sky shades I don't know but that would be lots of lots of stitching oh wow this is so impressive that <laughs> I will have to take a picture and insert for you maybe I don't know because we're not gonna see it it's it's so huge that it's not possible to see the whole canvas here's the tiger laying down there is another one up there wow you know what i will take you I will go downstairs or maybe even here somewhere like put on the floor I don't know no I will go downstairs because I don't want to hear any puppy fur let's go downstairs and I spread this canvas on, on the sofa so I can show you in a full like one frame okay my friends there is a no better way how can I show you this canvas I even have to put pillow and my napkin holder on the top so the canvas don't slide down now if you can look from here the only partial thing that you don't have to stitch it's really on the right side of the canvas up there on the top the only 
one patch of white up there everything else it's pretty much you have to stitch look at those tigers lots of white snow of course because it's snow if you want to be creative and add some sparkles I might will do just that put some metallic or like a glitter white threads that I have to make a little bit sparkles here and there some half stitches to make a sparkle but look how beautiful let me try to get a little bit in here um, yeah this this sofa is huge very very big so you can imagine how big is almost as tall as I am just a 10 centimeters that is going to be a beautiful very beautiful and I love the way uh, this part of the trees in here they look really nice to me even like this printed on a kind of you can see that this is uh, birch trees I believe the tigers are just beautiful and um, you can see that uh, there's a hills and valleys there's a far away more woods up there and it's just a beautiful landscape trust me this cross stitch are so beautiful when it's done try to google on youtube tigers finish cross stitch if you can try to see like a I believe the lady was from Russia who was stitching this one. Uh, I, I, I just fell in love with this canvas. So beautiful. So many threads. Hopefully enough to finish. Usually it's more than enough to finish in leftovers. But on this kind of huge design, hopefully they put enough to finish. Love, love, love this picture. Wow definitely need humongous frame or something uh, just the uh, hoops probably going to take forever to do keep switching it um, if I would stitch I would roll one side uh, whatever I want to stitch first probably from this side because there's a more stuff is going on in here and here mostly snow right up there I would start probably from this corner even my favorite thing to start from right bottom corner that's how I usually start but it doesn't matter from which side I would start I would roll one side pin it with the clips so it's not so big and then the other piece put inside of the frame to stitch so you have two hands available because just on a hoop it will be really probably difficult to do that unless you can make a canvas softer by rubbing in your hands and soften up the um, whatever they treated canvas to be stiff you can soften and stitch in two holes at once uh, stitches will be a little bit crooked not exactly perfect when you stitch that way but it would be much faster and as I say all the green stuff as a snow most likely I will use a half stitch but in more layer of the threads to keep the same fullness but it will be much faster done right and uh, it will give an extra texture as well so yes that is gorgeous thank you so much everyday craft this canvas is magnificent and I think for the size of this canvas and the amount of threads you get in it's still a good price so if you like to challenge yourself my dear friends go ahead check it out website and see if you want to order one definitely you will enjoy for your stitch in this one yeah love it all right thank you so much for today uh, staying with me for this amazing amazing review and let me know what you think about it love to read your comments your feedback and uh, I will see you 
in my next video if you miss my unboxing number one with the very fancy wax seals i will link it up for you and we have still lots more video to come with everyday crafts you saw that was a big big package i've received so we have lots of product to see yet all right i will see you tomorrow in my next episode